Getting lucky. I think so. It's not going very far, but I've been fooled before. I think this is where I, I, I moved a fish here before. This, this is the corner where I, I recognise the, the cut in the bank there. Can you? Yeah. Make sure. Ah, it is. Yeah, uh, it's a wee bit of stick to get it up. Peter, a decent, decent shape for a kelp. Really, isn't it? It's for some reason, you know. It's uh. Aye. To see you. Got a good grip. Can't it certainly it. has. Not, not much of a rush, I've left my pliers in there. Open them wide. Open wide. You're at the dentist. Well done, thank you. What's the name of that fly? It's Indian being special. Alright. I think so. It started to take a wee bit of run there for a for a minute. It's going back to shaking its head. It might be a bigger kelp. There's somewhere up a wee bit to beach it, save getting your net all slimy. Sorry? Is there somewhere up a bit to beach it rather than... Ah, I think so, huh? Yeah. I didn't want to break the rod though. Because it's a... It's only, it's only a sit. Definitely a wee bit bigger than the last. Yeah. I think he's on the dropper this side. Looks like it. Uh, I think it thinks it's a springer. <laughs> confused, a confused kill. A confused kill, aye.
Hey, the is going. Going. Small gill this time. Off. I'm at the top of BT8. I'm going down to have a shot of the lower mill pool. Hopefully there'll be something in there that's not a kelt. There's an hour one off. Change the battery and the camera, but I've hooked two fish in here and lost them both. I need to see if there's any more. There's one did swirl. Another one came at the fly just now. 